Hello everyone, it's Rachel, the Nature Educator, and today I'm going to show you how to use the app called Seek by iNaturalist. So Seek is an app that you can download onto your phone or tablet, and it can help you identify the plants and animals around you. It's easy to use and it's super fun. I personally love Seek, so I'm going to show you how to use it. So you'll need a phone or tablet and you'll need to download the app onto your device and I will put the link to the app in the description below. So here we go. Thank you for listening. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up the Seek app on your phone or tablet. So this is the home page. You'll see my location is in the top left and then it has generated some common species um, little circles there. If you click on them, it'll bring up some more information about those animals. The three lines on the bottom left is the menu. We'll explore this a little bit later. Right now, we're going to click on that camera button to um, access the camera. So a little friendly reminder to be kind to nature will pop up. This is great for kids and for adults. And then once you hit continue, it'll take you to the camera where you can hover over the plant that you'd like to identify. So you want to keep your eye at the top of the screen where you see the green dots. And you want the green dots to try to appear all the way to the right because that means that the app has been able to identify the species. So right now it's at order, which is another taxonomical level. And now we've gotten down to species. So in this particular case, I think the app just needed more time for the camera to focus. Um, but other times you might have to move the camera around to get some different angles. So once the app has identified the species, you're going to click the camera button to capture an image. I'm going to allow it to access my photos. So I observed a new species, Farin nose cartilage lichen. And no, I haven't discovered a new species. This is just my first time observing it. So then if you click on view species, it'll bring up a page with lots of information all about it. I am down at a little park in Victoria. It's the ocean behind me. So I'm gonna try using the Seek app at the beach and see what species I can identify. <laughs> So, walking along the beach here, I can see there's lots of different types of algae washed up from the ocean. So let's see if Seek is able to identify some of these species here. Let's try this one here. So it was able to identify this species as sea belt. So I'm interested to see if the app is able to identify this plant. Um, this is actually the holdfast for bull kelp. So it's like the root system in a way that allows them to hold on um, to the seafloor. And then it's got the long stipe that leads up to the bulb. These are all kind of decomposing, so I'm not sure if the app will be able to identify it, but we'll find out. <laughs> so here's some more of the um, bull kelp on the ground here. So let's see if Seek can identify this, because these are all decomposing. So it's only part of the plant that it has to try to identify it with. So it has it identified at the family level of a mangrove, which is incorrect. So this is an example of where Seek can be wrong. But after moving the camera around, it was able to identify it to the order level of kelps, which is correct. Okay, so now let's see if it can identify these tiny little snails we have in here. So the app was only able to identify it at the family level, which is okay. You can still take the photo and click through to get more information about this family. 
So now that you know how to take a photo of a species in the app to try to identify it, I'm going to give you a tour of the rest of the app. So here we are at the home page. We're going to click the menu button in the bottom left and the menu will appear. And Let's check out achievements. So Seek has done a great job of gamifying identifying species by achieving badges. So as you observe different species, you get credit for it and points towards getting these badges. So it looks like I've got lots of bronze badges, one silver, and then I've achieved a full badge with the plants. There's also different challenges you can do to achieve badges, which come out monthly and are posted on the home page. At the top of the screen, you can also see the level that you're at, and your level will increase with the more badges that you achieve. So we're going to click on the menu button again and click on challenges. So I haven't done any challenges yet, but they come out monthly. But it seems as though the last one was in December 2020, so they're a bit behind. But if you click on one, it'll provide you with information about that challenge and how to get started. So now we're going to click the menu button again and click on my observations. So this is where you can see all the different plants, animals, fungus, everything that you have found and identified through SEEK. The badge icon in the top of each section indicates how many species you have observed and what level badge you have earned for that taxon. Let's click on one of these species to see what this species page looks like. So there's lots of great information on here. It gives you the common name, the Latin name, whether it's a native or introduced species, when you first observed it, a little bit about it, there's a range map that you can click on and zoom in on to find more exact locations. There's a taxonomy list. It tells you the observations that other people have made and the seasonality. And at the very bottom, there's also other species that are similar. So you can click the back arrow on the top left to return to your observations page. Let's check out European holly, which is an introduced species. So now you'll see that where the kelp crab said native, it now says introduced and the rest of the information reflects European holly. So let's click on the menu button again and let's check out the iNaturalist tab. So this just provides some information about iNaturalist. So you can actually log in with your iNaturalist account and link these apps and there's a few opportunities where you can do that. So if you click the menu button again, there's an about page that just has some more information about iNaturalist. And there's also a place for settings where you can change the settings for this app. There's also a little bell in the bottom right corner, which is your notifications. So you may receive some of these when you sign up for uh, challenges and things like that. So that is the Seek app. Thank you very much for watching and for your attention.